Hey everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts, and I'm going to make this card using the uh, Timeless Tropical and In the Tropics dies to make this pineapple. And I did some sponging on the dies themselves. I'll show you how to do that. Um, this is a stitched rectangle. This is the um, In the Tropics, I think, uh, designer series paper. And then on the inside, I did the palm trees, and I did some uh, thumping technique. I don't know if you can see the different colors on the uh, the greenery part here. So there is some detail on the pineapple and the leaves, and I'll show you how I did that. And let's get started. So I have all my pieces cut out. Um, I'm using Pool Party, and then again, I cut this. It's stitched around, it's hard to see maybe, um, and I used the stitched rectangle frames. I did the second from the largest, and I already cut that out. And then I have the designer series paper, whatever the tropical one is, I can't think of the name of it, um, but that's a pool party paper. And I will have it on my blog, PSPaperCrafts.com, along with all of the measurements and instructions and stuff. So this is the other side of this paper. I just love this paper, it's so pretty. And then I have a piece that I'm gonna use for the, um, the hello. And I'm using um, crushed curry for the pineapple. This will be my inside piece, so we'll hide that. And then I'm using pear pizzazz for my, um, my leafy green part. So let me get started with doing the, um, the embossing. So before I, not the embossing, the cutting. So before I do that, I just want to show you what I did. I actually took the dies um, and these are the In the Tropic dies. And I have the pineapple bottom and the pineapple top. And I, I'm actually up in New York watching my grandkids. My son and his uh, ex-wife are both essential workers. So they're not able to watch their kids during this whole um, stay at home thing. Um, so I'm I'm in New York watching them and I forgot to take my sponges if I took I packed up my whole Craft room and tried to remember everything and I forgot my sponges So I'm going to use a paper towel for this. So what I'm doing is I have pear pizzazz paper and I have um, pretty peacock ink and I'm going to actually ink the die So let me get the paper towel if you have sponges, that would be the better thing to do. So all I did was kind of wad up the paper towel, pressed in my ink, and I kind of pressed on the die itself. So it's gonna pick it up where the lines are, where it's gonna cut, and um, a little bit of the embossing. Uh, actually, not where it's gonna cut, but where there's some lines on the, the greenery. So you'll see it. So I'm just pressing down, trying to get the ink on it, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the pineapple. And they'll probably all come out a little different. Let me just make sure I got it down here. Okay, so we're gonna put this aside, we'll put this aside. And you could just rinse these dyes. You can use um, a baby wipe or just uh, use your, um, your chamois. I think that would be the best thing to do. Just press it in your chamois, that will work. And let's just get our green. So I'm gonna do this with the ink up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my die here, place my cardstock over it, place my top plate on, and just run it through. And I'm gonna run it back and forth twice. Okay, so let's take this out, and this is good because then you can make sure that it cut through everywhere. And then there's these pieces that you can push out if you wanted to. Um, I don't have my pokey tool with me here, so I'm going to just poke out. There's this one piece that gets poked out. There's a little hole here. I should get my tool. I'm gonna to need it for the next piece for sure, so I'll probably stop this and get it. So let me just, oh. Oops. 
Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to use these together and push it through a little bit. It's better to use your picket tool or something like that, but since I don't have it on me, I will get it before I do my next piece. So let's pull this off. And see, it just adds a little bit of color to the leaves themselves. And you can push these up if you wanted to add that little bit of dimension. So there's some that just kind of bend up a little bit. Okay, isn't that pretty? Just to give it a little bit different look. And we're gonna do the same thing with the pineapple. I'm gonna move this over, I'm gonna get my pokey tool, and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I'm gonna do the pineapple. This is the tool, the picket tool. I call it the pokey tool because I poke stuff out with it. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this. I am going to use soft suede ink. I tried it with crushed curry ink and it didn't really do much, so I thought I needed a darker color. And don't worry about this, this is all water-based, so if you get it like on your table or something like that, it will be able, you know, you'll be able to wash it right off. So I'm just pressing hard on my dye, and you could do this with any dye, really. Some may have more, um, more areas of, that you can cover better. But I just thought this gave it a little bit of a extra, um, I don't know, extra dimension to it. So let's close this up. Get my um, big shot again. And we're just going to place this down. Place this on top of it. And you don't really want to move it around or anything because you don't want to get the dye to or the ink to um, mush around on the, the dye. So I'm going to just go across and back. So I'm staying. I took everything up with me from Florida to New York <clears throat> as much as I thought I needed. And I'm staying downstairs. I'm upstairs in my son's kitchen. I'm staying. He has like a little basement apartment. So I'm staying down there, but I'm doing my crafting down there. But then it's not very light down there, so I wanted to do this in his kitchen while his kids, um, he just took them out for a little bit. So I'm going to have to just figure out the times and when I can do these, and I'll get them done, and I'll work on them at night to get them posted. Everybody's doing different things, but I love being here with my grandkids. It's really wonderful. Okay, so this this tool um, you can add on. This is the old one, but they have the brush now that adds on to this. So you just can unscrew this and put the brush on, and you get this foam pad. And it's really wonderful for intricate intricate dyes. It just like gets all those pieces out. So I'm just poking at the holes to um, get this to start coming up. And I like to just, once I get some of it, just pull it all up gently. So here's our pineapple. There's just little little lines in it that are brown. I was thinking green, because I, you know, you try to picture a pineapple, there's green on it, there's brown on it, there's like a yellow on it. So um, I just thought those would be good colors. So let's put our card together. Um, I have the pool party, and I'm just going to put this piece right down, right on top of it. So I'm going to get my liquid glue, and I think this is so pretty. And this is pretty too. That's the one thing with designer series paper. It's just everything is pretty, and you don't know which side to use. And luckily you get two sheets of every one, so you can use both sides. And I'm really not doing a very good job with this gluing. Okay. I'm a little out of sorts, I guess. This is not my, my normal way of doing a video and crafting and all that good stuff. But we will make it work. This is nothing compared to what some people are dealing with. So I'm going to put the, um, the pineapple 
on here and I think there is an upside down way I think this is the right way to do it they almost look like little stars and I'm just going to dot glue wherever there's a big piece and I want to try to get around the edges so that it doesn't lift off okay we'll put this kind of close to the bottom it pretty much takes up this whole sheet <laughs> um, it's a pretty big piece which is neat now I, I'm not going to put glue where I have these bent up so I'm just going to kind of put it on the leaves down here so this way they're not stuck down okay and we'll just put this on Isn't that pretty and then I popped up this whole piece with dimensionals so let's just get some dimensionals and look at that I love this I've said this before my shower curtain looks like that <laughs> um, so that's what it reminds me of every time I see it so just get all of these down we'll do a bunch of them I think I'll put one here. I'll just do like three rows of three. How's that? Just to make sure it's nice and secure. And then you just peel off the backs. They're very easy to do. Okay. And then we just want to center this. I love the, um, the brown and the blue. So I believe it's balmy blue. Oh no, it's pool party and I think early espresso. I think it's really pretty. So then we want to stamp, um, what I did was I stamped this little hello, and that is from the Timeless Tropical stamp set. You could do hello. Um, there is a die in the set. This is the die set that goes with it that says aloha, if you would prefer aloha. You could cut that out and put it on instead. So let's do the hello, and I'm doing that in... Um, the soft suede and I'm doing it on a piece of this designer series paper and then I'm going to show you how I cut it out so I kind of did it toward the end that looks a little smudged let's do it over here oh I want to do it I want to have those facing up a little crooked but I'm going to use a punch so that's okay and I'm going to just cut the end off. So I'm using the classic label punch. And I'm just going to use part of it. So you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to feed it in. And I really want this. And then I'm just going to cut that off. So I want to get it nice and straight. And that's why I was trying to do it on the end. Because I could have just cut it that way. So let's just snip a piece off here. Okay. And I'm going to put that down with a little liquid glue and then we'll put the bow on it and we'll do the inside. Pretty easy card and I think it's neat. I love the pineapple. The pineapple is a welcome sign actually. Okay, and let's get our linen thread. And I'm just gonna, ooh, this has been giving me trouble. So I put some tape on it. I'm gonna just do it this way. I'll fix it later. So I wanted two pieces, so that worked out. And we'll just snip the end here. And what I'm going to do is just tie a bow with the two pieces together. I like to do two or three pieces. I think it just gives it a little bit more um, substance. I'll make a little bow. And just kind of pull on the ends to kind of straighten them out. I'm going to use my ribbon scissors to cut the ends here.
Okay, and then we will use a, oh, I have them. <laughs> I thought maybe I didn't have them. A mini glue dot. I really went through every one of my uh, steps of making this card to make sure I had everything up. And I didn't think of that picket tool, but I did think of the glue dots, so that's, that's a plus, right? So we'll put that on. And let's do the inside. Now, I didn't do a sentiment on the inside. Again, I did the palm trees. I absolutely love these pine trees. I think they're my favorite thing in the whole stamp set. You can do a lot of different things with them. Um, what I did was I took my soft suede marker. Now, you can't use stamp and blends on this. You have to use the, the stamp and write markers, the ones that are round, not the chunky square ones, because those are alcohol-based, and you don't want to rub alcohol on your stamps. So I'm just coloring this with the soft suede, the trunks. And I love that you can color on your stamps. And then I'm going to do my lightest color, which is pear pizzazz. I'm gonna do a couple of different colors. This is a favorite technique of mine, the thumping. And I only used a couple of colors here. I usually do green treetops with it and I do a lot of greens. You could even do, uh, you know, fall colors if you had a tree that had fall leaves. And, you know, add in some other colors, reds and yellows and things like that. So I'm coloring the whole thing because I don't want to miss any spots. And I want to do my lightest color so that the other colors can show through. Okay. So now I'm going to do this thumping technique. I'm going to use Garden Green and Pretty Peacock. And all you do is you let your, your marker end just bounce on the green part of this. You don't want to get it on the brown. And it's just going to blend in different colors and give, give you a, kind of a neat look. So you don't have to do too much. We'll do the, the Garden Green and then I'm doing the Pretty Peacock. Okay, that looks about right. Looks like a mess. <laughs> and then you're gonna just huff on it, breathe on it, <sighs> just to moisten up the ink. And you'll see the magic. So I am going to go off the side here a little bit because it's a big stamp and I wanna have a little room for writing. But isn't that pretty? So it has some different colors in the green. I think that's a cool little technique. And we're gonna get our liquid glue and put this on the inside and our card is, card is finished. Pretty easy, couple of different techniques. Um, I hope you like the pineapple, I love it. And I'm really loving this um, pool party designer series paper. That's the first time I used that sheet in this paper pack. Um, and it's really beautiful, isn't it? So these are the cards. I think they're really pretty. Thanks a lot for joining. I hope everybody's doing well and staying home. I know I did come up to New York, but I am staying home. <laughs> um, but you guys take care out there and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.